By now, you've probably all seen South Park's animated roasting of Prince Harry and Meghan. Some called it brutal, others are calling it genius. I think you can guess where I stand. But what's so beautiful about the whole thing is that I think the pair clearly thought they'd be the next Obamas. I reckon they thought, well, if Britain is fed up with us, America will lap us up. But from where I'm standing, they're just a less likeable version of the Kardashians. And it's not just me saying this. Polling from Redfield and Wilton shows Americans have, have also had quite enough of the vacuous duo. Since December, Meghan's popularity has plummeted by a massive 36 points. Prince Harry's is down a staggering 45 points. Put simply, they're not doing well on either side of the Atlantic. In Harry's words, he had to flee the UK, didn't he? Fearing for his family's safety, as if Britain was some kind of war zone and he and his wife a persecuted minority. Instead of counting their blessings and pursuing something meaningful, what did they do? Netflix, Spotify, book launches, late night chat shows, you name it, they've done it. All while demanding their privacy, naturally. Now, if you ask me, this is one of the most privileged couples in the world, but showed no shame at all in presenting themselves as victims. Victims of the monarchy, victims of the tabloid press that they're happy to endlessly feed, of course, and even victims of Brexit. To me, they really do reflect the worst of our culture. A culture that says, no matter how lucky you are, no matter how many advantages you have, no matter what platform you're handed, you can still be a victim if you know the right buzzwords. But I sense a change may be afoot. Virtue signalling and latching on to the latest progressive causes can only go so far until people suss you out. We've seen how Nicola Sturgeon was skewered by pandering to progressive wokery. Before her, New Zealand's be kind Jacinda Ardern threw in the towel after opinion polls showed she was on her way out. Watching the South Park mockery, I imagine Prince Harry and Meghan are fuming. How dare they make fun of us? Why can't they see how wonderful we are? How can they not see that we're the hard done by ones here? Well, it turns out that both the British people and Americans are a little smarter than that, and the chickens are firmly coming home to roost.